Want to speak real Finnish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at finnishpod101.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use anteeksi and other words when apologizing in Finnish. We can use anteeksi in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, anteeksi, saisinko kahvin kiitos? Excuse me, could I get a coffee please? We can also use it when asking a question. Anteeksi, missä on tuomiokirkko? Excuse me, where is the dome? Anteeksi is a very flexible word. It can be used in both formal and informal situations. We can use anteeksi when asking a question, trying to get someone's attention, or when apologizing. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is olen pahoillani. It means I am sorry and can be used both in formal and informal situations. Olen pahoillani. Breaking this down, first we have the Finnish word for to be, olla. When this is conjugated for minä, meaning I, it is olen. You could say minä olen pahoillani, but it's common to leave the pronoun itself out. Finally, we have the adjective pahoillani, meaning sorry. Olen pahoillani. Now it's time for Paula's points. Please remember that in Finland, if you accidentally bump into someone, it's more common to say anteeksi than olen pahoillani. Saisinko lisää sitä herkullista mustikkapiirakkaa? Totta kai. Ole hyvä. Kiitos. Otatko myös lisää vihreää teetä? Ei kiitos, mutta saisinko mustaa kahvia? In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Finland. Ready? Let's get started. The most used informal greeting is Hey. Hey. Hey means hi or hello. We use it when we meet people, friends, relatives, and even people we don't know. We use this phrase in lesson one. Do you remember? Do you also remember what the formal way of greeting people is? Hyvää päivää. Hyvää päivää. Literally, hyvää päivää means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use hyvää päivää only during the daytime, from midday until early evening. During the evening, we say hyvää ilta. Hyvää ilta. Ilta is Finnish for evening, so hyvää ilta means good evening. Hyvää päivää and hyvää ilta are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say these greetings again. Instead, When leaving in a formal situation, Finnish people say näkemiin. Näkemiin. Näkemiin means goodbye. In informal situations, you can just say hey hey. Hey hey. Finally, in Finnish we have an expression meaning see you soon, which can be either formal or informal. Nähdään pian. Nähdään pian. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Finnish. Let's review them all again. When greeting someone in an informal situation, hey. When greeting someone in a formal situation, hyvää päivää or hyvää iltaa. When leaving in a formal situation, näkemiin. When leaving in an informal situation, hey hey. When leaving, no matter whether it's a formal or informal situation, nähdään pian. It's easy, right? Now it's time for Paula's points. In formal situations, Finnish people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. But if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug each other. Don't be afraid to do it with your Finnish friends. It's normal. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. And phrases you always want to hear. So let's get started. Näytät hyvältä tänään. You look great today. Näytät hyvältä tänään. You look great today. Now, this is definitely something you can tell the people you know and it makes a person feel good. Uh, you can maybe add something to it, like you can say kiva paita, which means nice shirt. And that's definitely something you can say to make a person feel good about themselves. Kaipaan sinua. I miss you. Kaipaan sinua. I miss you. 
Now, you can say this to a friend or a family member or a loved one if you haven't seen someone in a long time. Uh, another way to say the exact same thing in Finnish is to say Minulla on ikävä sinua. Teit hienoa työtä. You did a great job. Teit hienoa työtä. You did a great job. Now, you can say this to your employees or your co-workers to set a really nice vibe at your workplace. And everyone wants to know that they, they're appreciated, so you don't have to be afraid to say it. You should actually say it more often. Tulet saamaan bonuksen loppukuusta. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Tulet saamaan bonuksen loppukuusta. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Now, if you're a boss and you say this sentence combined with the previous sentence together, you'll definitely be the boss of the month. So you can say, Teit hienoa työtä. Tulet saamaan bonuksen loppukuusta. Olet erittäin hyvä kokki. You're an excellent cook. Olet erittäin hyvä kokki. You're an excellent cook. I have a friend and I cooked macaroni laatikko for him once. Uh, macaroni laatikko is like a, like a macaroni casserole with minced meat. It's like the simplest food on the planet. So that he com complimented me on my macaroni laatikko, that's like, he must be really hungry. Pidä tauko. Minä hoidan siivouksen tänään. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Pidä tauko. Minä hoidan siivouksen tänään. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Now, that would be nice to hear, right? Like somebody would clean up after you and you can just kick back and enjoy the day. That would be awesome. Ja sinä voitat. And you win. Ja sinä voitat. And you win. When I was little and my parents would go out of town, uh, they would bring these scratch tickets as a souvenir and my brother would always win something, or at least it felt like it, but I would never win, so I was pretty bummed about it. Maybe I should try and buy one of those now and see if I could win some money? Olit oikeassa. You were right. Olit oikeassa. You were right. I once saw this meme that said, uh, in a marriage there's two people, one is always right, and the other one is the husband. I'm not sure if that's a good joke, is it? Maybe not. Toin sinulle jotain erityistä. I brought you something special. Toin sinulle jotain erityistä. I brought you something special. When I was 16 and I was moving out of town, my friends brought me this uh, CD, like a mixtape, that had uh, a lot of songs that we would uh, like to listen together. And I think that was a really, really nice gift. Uh, that was back in the beginning of the millennium, so CDs were a big thing. Budjetti on rajaton. The budget is unlimited. Budjetti on rajaton. The budget is unlimited. Unlimited budget? I've never experienced that. Have you? Maybe I should go and buy one of those scratch tickets to see if I would win something and then have an unlimited budget. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to properly thank people. Are you ready? Then let's start. There are several ways to thank someone, but let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Kiitos. Kiitos. Kiitos means Thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add the word paljon. Kiitos paljon. Kiitos paljon. Paljon means a lot. So kiitos paljon is just like saying thank you very much. It doesn't matter if you're trying to be formal or informal. Kiitos will work in both situations, so don't worry. But how do you reply to thank you in Finnish? It's easy. There are basically two ways to do it. The first is ole hyvä. Ole hyvä. Ole hyvä literally means be good, and it's commonly used to reply to thank you, especially when someone thanks you for giving them something. The other way to say you're welcome is the expression ei se mitään. Ei se mitään. Literally, this phrase means nothing or never mind. You use this when you think that there's no need to be thanked. So it's like saying, don't mention it. So when someone says kiitos to you, you can simply reply with ole hyvä or ei se mitään. Now it's time for Paula's points. 
If you're not sure about whether to use kiitos or kiitos paljon, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Kiitos can be used with just about anyone, anywhere and at any time.